For more Intellivision fun, check out the Intellivisionaries podcast. Head over to Intellivisionaries.com. It's Intellitastic. <laughs> Pac-Man for the Intellivision game system. Play the original arcade classic in your own home. <sighs> now I love Pac-Man. And when Pac-Man came out in the arcades, I, I fondly remember it back in 1980. Played the living daylights out of the game. You know, before then I was into playing Space Invaders and stuff like that. But Pac-Man with all its bright colors and really cool gameplay just really drew me in. I'm still a Pac-Man nut even to this day. It's probably one of my top ten arcade games. Love that game. Anyway, when they put it over in the Intellivision, now I remember seeing it on the Intellivision back then, but I didn't own an Intellivision personally. I didn't get an Intellivision until about 2013 or so. And this is one of the first games I got for it because I remember fondly playing this game at a buddy's house on his Intellivision. I really fell in love with this version of Pac-Man. box is kind of cool. It's pinkish in color, which I can't figure out why it's pink. It should be Miss Pac-Man if it's pink, but besides that, it's still a cool looking box. It kind of looks like the Atari 2600 graphic on here though, a little bit, just a little bit. It's kind of funny. On the back of the box, it has a really nice full color little thing here. I like the artist rendering of the maze and the Pac-Man and stuff like that. I much prefer when they show the actual game screens on here so you knew what you were buying. Hungry Pac-Man versus the Goblin Goblins. The thrill of the arcade game. Awesome. Distributed by INTV Corporation, Torrance, California. Cool. So let's take a look at what's in the box. So in the box we have our instruction manual, which is just a generic gray and white manual. Nothing really special about it. It kind of, it kind of folds in a weird way. It folds up. Instead of sideways like this, it kind of that's kind of weird. But it gives you instructions for Pac-Man, how the game plays, the game controls. It's just a directional game; doesn't not a whole lot of controls to it. Scoring, and of course, the ever helpful, helpful hints. Awesome. Now there were two different releases of the cartridge of Pac-Man, and that one's stuck in the very bottom of the box. I have to go from the other side. Get my Pac-Man game out of there. You are. Get out of there. This was the later release by INTV Corporation. This has a plain white label. Back bad. Generic cartridge case here. I much prefer the earlier cartridge release because it was a much better looking. It was kind of like the it looked like the Coleco cartridges a little bit for the television. And it had a really nice label on it. I had that version, but I gave it away. Uh, I should have kept it. Instead of keeping this one, but oh well. It's still a cool variation of the cartridge, though. Alright, let's give Pac-Man a spin. You notice on the INTV Corp uh, intro screen here, it does have the Atari Soft logo, doesn't like that. That's what I like about the other version. I kind of like that Atari Fuji symbol with the cycling colors on it. But anyway, it's the exact same game, just different intro screen. One player. <laughs> Ooh. I love that intro music on this version. Whoa! <laughs> the game controls really nice with the little uh, disc pad. Oh, oh no, you don't. Oh, 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 oh. oh you thought you had me. Deny. Oh, yeah. They're all lined up. Get up! Get up! Yes! 1600 points! Oh, I missed a cherry. Uh oh. Whoa! Oh, no, you don't. Oh, it's starting to speed up. Even though the maze is shrunk down, it's uh, actually pretty good. It's not bad. Oh, I missed a 
corner. He's got one more to get. One more. Ooh, pop. Yes. First board has been cleared. Now, I didn't have it in television, you know, back then. I did have a buddy that had one, and this is one of the games he had for it. And it's one of the games I really like to play on the Intellivision. Uh, until I got my Atari 800 version of Pac-Man, and I started playing it more. But this is an excellent version of Pac-Man. Uh, Atari Soft did a really good job converting the arcade game over to the Intellivision. There you <laughs> El Champo. Oh, no, you don't. Nope, go this way. Oh, they're speeding up on me. Bloop. Bloop. I'm going to clear the screen. I'm going to clear the screen. Yes. It's pretty cool even to have the intermission screens. Awesome. <laughs> television. Oh, high score, 19,610. Awesome! Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>